the coaches for Lavelle are Dale Tenau for Lavelle Salt, Doug for his seventh season, Holmes Tenau Chef, Bill McNeil, it is Holmes Tenau Adjoint, Dominique Duquette, and Karen Adjoint. Les joueurs qu'on a vu de Orson, Marie-Pierre Pinot-Rit, Anne Chabot-Bergeon, Ali Papineau, Claudia Camille-Vauduc, Marie-Pierre Chantetier, Genevieve Lambert, Julie Morin, Sarah Boudreau-Tapin, Stephanie Barnier, Charlotte Vallière-Villeneuve, Genevieve Thibault, Dominique Laliberté-Martineau, Karine Paquin, Oniante Ka La Flamme, Claudine Renault, Lita Scoco, Audrey Towner, Elizabeth Morin, Christine Gould, Marie-Pierre Caillé, Marie-Ève Lafleau, Benin Desochica, Mackenzie Stars, Amelia Tremblay Martin, et Miriam Roger. Coaches from McMaster University are they don't turn out the Daily motion. Here we are live with you at the start of the second game of the day here at the CIS Women's National Rugby Championships. We're at Justin Chu Stadium and on the campus of Trent University here in Peterborough, Ontario. I'm Sandy Kay, with me is Ed Holton, and we'll be bringing you live coverage of the tournament all weekend long. And Ed, here we go, second game, Laval, representing the Quebec Conference. On your right-hand side, in black and red, McMaster from Hamilton, Ontario, on your left. Well, I'm excited about this game, Sandy. We've got the undefeated Laval team against the Ontario silver medalist McMaster. Of course, Max only lost to that uh, strong, undefeated Guelph team who we'll see later this weekend. This should be a good matchup. It really should be. Uh, Laval, a tried team, uh, had a tough uh, tough road here to get into these uh, championships. A uh, big win over Concordia in their respective conference championship. Uh, and we're about to kick off. Laval puts ball to air. Taken nicely, nicely by taken. McMaster. Good rough form by McMaster. Balda there. Strong player, Natasha Turner, wearing number eight. Nice ramble by Turner. Oh, it's a good defense by Laval. Right looks up like, there to stuff him. Looks like ball in hand for Laval. Number that seven, Julie Morin. Stolen that. And here and comes Laval. Villeneuve at standoff, is it? It is Valliere Villeneuve, one of their conference all-stars. Ball to number six, Genevieve Lambert. Valliere Villeneuve out to number 13, Karen Paquin. She's got some space on the wing there, some good speed. Very explosive out there, that was Oniente Laflamme. Excellent tackle. And Laval very quickly, uh, about 10 meters out now. This is, I think, what we expected from Laval. Uh, uh, that's Ooh, a big run for good Marie Pierre Pino Reed. They're going to swing it wide now. Karen Pecan again for Laval. It's about fifth phase for Laval. And try up the center here. McMaster's defense holding strong. 
Goes to number seven, Moran. She finds contact. Good phases of possession here from the Rouge Or. Yeah, Mac definitely doesn't want to give up an early try here. Down that right side again. Another second, second pick and go with the ball. Setting it up again. Out it comes left. Mac didn't fall for that. We have a mall set up. Good defense by McMaster. McMaster's got some hands on this ball. We'll see if they can hold it up. That was number 12, Lindsay Turner from McMaster in there on the uh, on the stop. No, Laval emerges with it. That's ball out, Stephanie Bernier for Laval. And there's the knock-on from the pressure by Mac. Good, oh, good defensive stand. Good job by McMaster. Tough early in the game here inside their own 22. Forcing that knock-on. But on the other side of the ball, great uh, great opening two minutes here from Laval. Well, Laval's got seven Quebec uh, League All-Stars on their side, a solid team. And as you mentioned, Sandy, they had to get through Concordia. We were talking about uh, the competition these these great teams from right across Canada have faced or, or haven't faced. And uh, it's probably advantageous to Laval. They had to go through Concordia to get here, Sandy. Absolutely. Tough, uh, tough Quebec conference. Teams like uh, Bishops. They play against Ottawa as well, McGill. Um, I'd say McMaster has certainly proven themselves in the OUA uh, coming up against Powerhouse Guelph, uh, as well as uh, as playing good games against uh, Trent University and Queens. So Mac holds number eight pickup here. Natasha Turner with a strong run for McMaster. She'll be center in this uh, in this Mac attack. Kim Nye on that ball, and they will clear it from inside their 22, but doesn't find touch. That's a well-placed kick. Oh, a nice bounce. I think we're going to be seeing Natasha Turner doing a lot of running off the back of those scrums today, Ed. CIS All-Star, Natasha Turner. And very much a leader out there. You can see her matching up her defense, counting numbers. She'll be an important piece of the puzzle if, if McMaster's going to do well this weekend. Well defended by McMaster. I think we've got a knock on there. Bernier have ball out. Number 12, Dominique La Liberté Martineau. And oh, gap, a nice break. gap for Valier Villeneuve. I like the way that uh, Laval is using the entire field, moving the ball nicely. And McMaster's penalized. That's well, Laval looks in charge so far. They certainly do. McMaster has done well to defend. This is a tough kick from the middle of the field. That's a good boot from Valier Villeneuve, but not quite enough. Oh, touch flags up. I guess she did step in, step out as she caught that. Must so we're five minutes in and uh, no score. It must have been just a heel on the line. I should mention again, we're playing for spectators um, and viewers alike. We're playing the yellow lines here at Justin Chu Stadium. Yellow is rugby, white soccer. Stolen line it by McMaster. Good little ramble there. Good handoff. Ball to Natasha Turner. Good strong like runner. A Turner run. Over center. And Taking helped. several women to bring her down. Oh, but well stolen by Laval. That's the trouble with those long breakaway runs. You've got to have your support keep up to you. And back the other way comes Laval. Well, some promise from McMaster there. Like you said, though, we have to have the support. We saw lots of that from St. FX this morning. Kick going to be taken by Georgia Davis, the fullback for McMaster. Oh, uh, that pass was a little low. Fairgrieve couldn't handle that. Not her fault, though, down around her shoelaces. Yeah, Davis is going to have to be a little more accurate with those uh, with those passes, especially in your own end. Fairgrieve with uh, five tries so far this year, so he's obviously a threat on the wing there for Mack. 
And I was just looking. We've got a a senior women's national team player there, San Pino Reed at prop, wearing number one on the on the near side here for Laval. I remember playing a game, uh, coaching several years ago when she was an under-17 player, uh, tournament in Ottawa, and, and even from that early age, she was a dominant player uh, on the rugby scene. Yeah, she's had several caps now, I believe, for the senior women's team, uh, most le- recently being the, uh, the World Cup, and then uh, a trial down in the United States. Now, our women didn't uh, medal, unfortunately, right? No, no, they didn't. So, uh, substitution there for injury on the McMaster side. I didn't see who that was. I didn't see either who was coming out. We'll try and get that number to you. Oh, Georgia Davis, 15. That's That's unfortunate. Starting fullback from Mac after only seven minutes, eight minutes, she's forced out. And a penalty against Mac. Laval taps quickly. That's Stephanie Bernier taking the, the penalty. Right in is fullback Claudianne Renault. McMaster back inside their own 22 again. Laval attacking. Lovely ball to Pino Reed. But a knock on in the process. Another break to McMaster. So two times that Laval's been inside McMaster's 22, and two times Laval has knocked it on. Mac getting some breaks here. That was uh, number two, Marissa Ashley. It's a little slow to get up. A little stinger in the right shoulder. They're making that tackle on a much bigger Pinot Reed. So the weather has cooled down since the morning game. So that could play a little bit of factor. It's nice and warm inside that scrum, but outside some of these uh, back row players in the backs have to do a lot of standing around, waiting it's to see ball. It's a good push by Laval, but Mac comes up with it. That's Turner again. Ball out from Nye. Out to the wing, Hannah Braithwaite on that far side. Mac setting up to go again. We talked about Fairgrave this on this winger on the near sideline with five tries. So too did Hannah Braithwaite on the far side. Five tries of her own this year. So they've got some power out in the wings. Here's a nice run up the center. Nice offload by Turner. Nye. Offloads. Looks to be number five, Varsha Tripathi. Tripathi looks like a hard runner too. Mack in good control here, linking up nicely. Nice tackle by La Liberté Martineau, the center for Laval. McFadden there. Oh, oh nice. Fans like that one. Very one nice more play. time. There's a break Long for McMaster. Look at her go. Oh, in touch, though. Wow. Claire Lockhart and a good burst down the sideline. Sandy, she looked like she slowed down. It looked like she was looking for support instead of just putting her head down and running as far as she possibly could. But a great uh, great series of phases by uh, Mack. Starting off with uh, that nifty little uh, inside give uh, from Kim Nye, the scrum half. Very, uh, very neat little play. Got another great crowd here at Justin Chu State, and they appreciated that play. Mack wins the line out and has the drive on. Good driving mall. Down to the five meter line. Mack getting organized. Balls to ground. Ruck is formed. Here it comes. Cindy Nellis. She's within a couple meters. Out again. Oh, a little miscommunication there. See if they can maintain the ball though. They have waiting for help to get there. Some good defense by Laval here. Good strong run again by McFadden. Still set up at the five meter mark. Nels again. Goes out to Swatsky. They're only a couple meters. Mack a couple meters out. 
This first score would be really important for this game, not only for the momentum, but... Oh, uh, good, good hard defense by Laval. Oh, Mack has knocked it on, unfortunately. Well, it works both ways here. Some great defense by Mack. First of all, to hold Laval in the early going, and now Laval forcing a, a Mack knock on. So after 12 minutes, we're deep in the Laval end, and there's no score. I don't think we're going to be seeing 80 points like we did this morning. No. This is going to be uh, this is going to be a defensive battle. So the results from this morning means that uh, tomorrow morning tomorrow morning at 10:30 we'll see Trent versus Lethbridge. And the loser of this game is going to play tomorrow at 1:30 versus uh, OUA champion Guelph. So some good games tomorrow to look forward to. Absolutely. And you know there'll be a big big crowd for the Trent game tomorrow at 10:30. Actually Sandy the grade 6 class I teach at Roger Nielsen Public School in Peterborough are coming out. As you can imagine, I've taught them a little bit about uh, flag rugby. Maybe we'll be seeing some of those young players in another another eight to ten years. Well, I know you uh, you coach high school girls, and I coach uh, under twelve, and it's tackle. Coached your son, and it's uh, co-ed, which is uh, which is very cool. You see the the girls starting out and not being afraid to tackle the boys. Builds their confidence. So a penalty against Mac here. So Laval looks like they've worked themselves out of out of some trouble. Still inside. Uh, penalty coming. Against McMaster again. So some early penalty trouble for Mac. Laval finds himself some room. We well, have to tip your hat to Bill Byrick, the athletic director here at Trent. This is the second year with these championships. If I thought they were just fantastic last year, it's it's even better this year, Sam. Great job by Blen and his entire staff of of uh, volunteers uh, and the staff out here at Trent University. Put on a great championship for us. Uh, no doubt, if the host from next year. Uh, has their druthers, they'll be uh, they'll be watching what uh, it's put on here over the last couple of years. Well, Another. one thing about the artificial turf, you get the you get good bounces. So uh, I think if you're just patient when that ball hits the deck, it'll usually come up. We saw that in the morning game. Yeah, some funny how the bounces seem to go Saint FX's way though. Yeah, they certainly saw some favorable ball. A little bit of rain starting to fall here. But again, you talk about the turf field here, and it does uh, it does drain so well. Uh, I don't think the women are going to find uh, conditions too wet or soggy out there. Uh, it's a it's a great uh, it's a great turf. It's going to make that ball a little slippery. But you're right; it won't make a difference for the footing. Scrum coming to McMaster University. Kim Nye to put the ball in. Good drive on by Laval. That's Cindy Nellis taking it. Lots of purple shirts there for help. Oh, good drive by Laval. That's ball stolen. She's outside her 22, though. Yep, she's kicked that straight out, so that's coming back. Well, we've got really got to thank SSN for uh, this live stream broadcast. And I was just talking to uh, a Peterborough Rugby Club mate of mine, and he was he was saying how great it is for, say, St. FX. You know, people, family and fans, students back in Nova Scotia being able to watch the game on the on the internet this morning, and likewise for Mac and Laval fans and family. So thanks to SSN. Yeah, no doubt if you've if you found us, then you're a, you're a fan of the streaming sports network. And I got thinking. Oh, there's the, an advantage. I got thinking the other day what a great uh, tool that is if you're if you're a coach from one of these teams. Oh yeah. There's no way that you can watch um, 
in person, but you can see what uh, see what you're up against against certain teams. So here's our chance for first points of the game. Mac will shoot for three. I thought the uh, I didn't catch a number, but I thought that Laval forward did kind of jump a bit early as that ball was coming up the back of the ruck. So Mac will go for three. There's 18 minutes left in the first half, so we've played 17 almost halfway through the first half and no score. But Mac can can be first on the board with a successful kick here. Kicker Cindy Nellis has had lots of practice at this year. One of the league's top scorers. That's the OUA. I believe she's six ranked in scoring. That's Cindy Nellis kicking. That is. You don't often see that in your forward pack. No, and no good. Or did I miss the flags? No, that was a miss left. Too bad. So it remains scoreless. 17 minutes to go in the first half between Mack and Laval. And Laval will restart with a 22 here. That's Fairgrave a- with the knock on out of bounds. Looking a little unsure taking that ball. So we'll bring it in five, and it'll be uh, Laval's scrum. Haven't seen uh, the Laval eight woman, Sarah Boudreau Turpin, get to part of much of this offense. So let's see if they uh, go to her on this. Ball swung wide. Nice offload by Laval from the ground. Yeah, Laval's doing a nice job of having people there in support. That was wing Genevieve Thibault. Good stop by McMaster. And here comes Laval, nice sidestep. Good strong run, didn't get her number. And Bernier moving again. Side here. Oh, that pass from Bernier was just a little too far forward. Max offside. That's the fifth or sixth penalty against McMaster so far today. Usually, just uh, those offside penalties. As a coach, you you see that and you know they're just they're being aggressive. Uh, but those are little mistakes that. Uh, the team needs to settle in and, and not make. Can't keep giving a, a team like Laval 10 meters. Oh, a little trouble back there. More Dan- trouble. Dangerous little spin into the middle. One little problem leads to the next. You see it all the time. So, Laval, five meters out. And they've been awarded a penalty. So will they take the three sand, or will they try to bash it five meters in? If I'm the Laval coach and I've got a player like Mary Pierre Pino Reed, uh, I I'll give it to her on the fly. But no, they're going to take the three. No, I would have looked for five, I think. But I'm not coach Bill McNeil. Speaking of coaches, you got Cam Mitchell uh, on the other side for Mac. He must be pleased with his first year result as McMaster coach. He's had an excellent year. Sometimes just bringing in uh, new blood to a team just inspires the uh, inspires the team, and they certainly have played well for their their rookie head coach. For Mac, this is her first appearance at a national championship since the inaugural one in uh, 1998. So I'm sure they're thrilled to be here. This is fullback Claudiane Renault. And Renault makes no mistake. Three and nothing without. Three nothing. That after over 20 minutes of play, Laval takes the lead. Goal 
as you said, Sandy, that all started with offside penalty. Ball not taken cleanly when the when the penalty kick, or sorry, the kick for touch didn't find touch. This one hasn't gone 10. There's another mistake. Exactly what you're saying. These little mistakes, they add up. You can't be making them against a team like Laval, like you mentioned. That kick for touch uh, off the penalty was bobbled. Then a pass, it hit the ground. And next thing you know, you're at your five-meter line and you take a penalty and it's three points. I suppose if you're McMaster, you're lucky that uh, it wasn't more. They could have just as easily gone for the for the try and conversion with for seven. Rain still falling here at Trent's Justin Chu Stadium. Sounds like it's not uh, deterring the fans from having fun, though. You can hear them down below us here, Sandy. A cold, wet day. Lots of uh, high school age players and family out to uh, to cheer things on. It's an obstruction call off the scrum at center. Max going to tap and go. Oh, a little trip there. Accidental. Coming stolen by Pino Reed. Laval's coming in hard into these rucks. Kicked by Charlotte Valliere Villeneuve. Mm. Over the head of the scrum half, Kim Nye. I think that was knocked on. Referee not making the indication. So Laval will proceed. Good pick McMaster on their heels a little bit the same way we saw Trent in the morning game. Big hard run by Pino Reed. And ball out again. A nice ball. Good cut back by Claudianne Renault, but Renault dropped it. Ball came loose. They're playing some advantage here. And a penalty awarded. And Mac will find touch on this one, though. Yep, good chance for Mac to catch a quick breather here. Been a good, tough game so far. 11 minutes left in the first half. Sitting at just 3 nothing for Laval. Still anyone's ball game, Ed. Well, we were talking earlier, Sandy, about uh, you get the best of the best together like we have here this weekend at Trent. A lot of teams who are undefeated or just one lost. Makes for some good, tight rugby. Great maul there by McMaster. Nice swings it out. Ball out to there at 10. We haven't mentioned Maggie Cogger or. It's a nice run. Mac up to center OUA. now here. OUA All-Star. Van Beast with a pickup. One of the best names in the tournament, Sandy. She plays prop, and her name's Van Beast. She runs hard. That's Turner again with a run. Lavelle doing a good job to hold that up. McMaster again. Oh, tough luck. Mishandled. Scrum will go to Lavelle. Mac has CIS Rookie of the Year, Cindy Nellis at Flanker. She stands 5'11", San. Great rookie to have in their stable. And uh, over on the Laval side, you got CIS All-Canadian, Charlotte, uh, how do you pronounce it, San? Valier. Valier Villeneuve. Some very capable players on both sides. There's a nice break up the center. What a great run, number 12, Dominique La Liberté Martineau. Looking for some support. She's offloaded it. Mack in looking to tackle the ball. Is that Thibault, Thibault a nice support, Thibault. Excellent support. Uh, man, Max got ball in hand. And Max come up with it. Good job by Mack. Not releasing the Not ball Not releasing the, the ball, so Laval can add to their lead here if they want to take a shot at goal. And they will. That's a second straight penalty against uh, against Van Beest. That's not the place you want to be doing that. 
Here comes the tee, and I think we will uh, have an attempt at goal. Yeah, you're right, Sandy. You, have, you want to be extra cautious with your hands in and not releasing and that kind of stuff inside your own 22 because that can cost you three points or more. So or no, we'll try to uh, try our second penalty kick. One of those eight Quebec Conference All-Stars. She's put up the only points to this point, and we're within eight minutes of halftime. Certainly if you're McMaster right now, you can see the forwards regrouping, having discussion, what they can do differently. A lot of this, too, is getting used to uh, officiating that they haven't seen before. Uh, we've got officials from across the country. Uh, for any player, you have to get used. Every referee is different. Uh, what they're looking for, what they're calling. And that's up and straight. Nicely done by Renault. Another three. So, with just seven minutes left in the first half, Laval has padded their lead by another three points. Six nothing Laval. Well, McMaster is certainly looking back to that earlier opportunity inside the Laval five. Oh. Okay. You can see the frustration on the McMaster yeah, kicker. Yeah, first time, first time you do that, it's forgivable. Second time, I think you want to be aiming about 20 meters downfield. So if you come up short, it's still 15 or 10. But yeah, that's Maggie Cogger or that's tough, tough to ask your forwards to do that on an error. To have to scrum down now. I'm sure Cam Mitchell is uh, shaking his head. Uh, that's your captain, Cogger is captain of this McMaster team. So no doubt she'll rebound from that. She's a big part of this offense. I say pick up, swinging around a little. Mac was there in defense. Turner did a great job getting out of the scrum. Oh. And there's a break. There's a bounce. Puts it back nicely. Well taken. Turn cleans up. Nye out. Number five, Varsha Tripathi. And good work by McMaster results in a penalty. I'd suggest they go for some, some more field position. Give us a kick down. Laval is so quick getting to that loose ball, but a lot of times their forwards are, are leaving their feet end up belly down uh, across the ball carrier. And uh, that's what the, pet and the referee is penalizing for. You must stay on your feet when you arrive at a tackled player. So Mac is on the attack here with just five minutes left in the half. 6 nothing Laval. And it'll be McMaster throwing in this line out after the penalty. The ball's won cleanly. I'll try to get a bit of a drive going here. It's out. Pop it Turner. She's a good runner. And she's got help there. Good clean pickup. Oh, and it's Which stolen. Stolen and kicked up field by Laval. I think it's that Davis on a take. Davis came out. That may be the replacement. I think I saw number 17, so Ed. So did I. We'll just check our... This looks like Courtney Cameron for the Marauders, according to the uh, player sheet. We had a sub there, didn't we? An injury sub. We'll get back to you with the name of that replacement. That's going to be Lavelle Scrum, just about at center. As the first half winds down, no tries scored in this game so far, just two penalty kicks for Lavelle, and that's the way it sits, 6 nothing. Well, I've been impressed, as you said, Sandy, with the Lavelle forwards. But uh, I'm equally impressed with how Mac has hung in there and the tackling. The old bend but don't break. There's a nice ball out by Laval. Oh, nicely done. Look at the speed nice here. Play. See if they can finish this off. Now some support out to the left. That's Oniente Laflamme with a great run. Oh, she threw it forward. Some good wheels there by Laval, but just... Some excellent effort to get back on defense. Well, that was a beautiful set piece there from uh, 
from Laval off off the scrum. Looked like it was coming out to the backs, and then uh, then a loop by the scrum half, and that was uh, center La Flamme who had a nice run up the middle. Mm-hmm. I noticed though the couple of the master players working really hard to get back, and they picked up the supporting players by Laval. So when La Flamme finally ran out of uh, out of room. There was nobody to pass to. They were covered. It was it was well done by Mac. You're right. That might have been five points against a lesser team. I think who we're looking at there at the fullback for McMaster is uh, is Rena Charlampus, who came in. The numbers don't match, but uh... we can double check that at the break. There's just uh, two and a half minutes left. Six nothing Laval, and I'm sure uh, McMaster would like to hold Laval off the score sheet anymore. Perhaps put something up there themselves, but they're deep in their own end. Yeah, if you're McMaster, you just want to keep, like you said, those points off the board, get to the half, uh, get back to your field position. Uh, but if I'm McMaster, I'm uh, I'm rejuvenated at the point of the fact that you know it's only six nothing, given the number of mistakes they've made, number of penalties committed. Look at this run from inside their 22. Oh, a little high. But uh, she got off her neck pretty quickly, so he let it go. That was Lindsay Turner. Mack with the ball again. Attacking the short side here. Nice Down support. Again, back to Turner. That's Turner to Turner. Good ramble. And lots of forwards there for Mack. Good takeout to Cindy Nellis. Uh, oh, tough to, luck. Talk knocked on by Tripathi. Tripathi. We're there, but just bad luck. Stadium announcer Ash Walker telling us that uh, we're under two minutes to go. The clock is stopped here at the stadium. Two minutes to be determined by the official. Not much in the way of injury stoppage. I think we're probably going to be seeing two minutes or less. And it was interesting in the World Cup this year, Sin, with the the straight time, that injury, they they stopped the clock on on the board. So 80 minutes is exactly 80 minutes. Mm-hmm. Often with soccer, you're not really sure how much extra time can be played. It's anybody's guess. That's number 13, Karen Pican. Good take up at the right side. Laval ready to strike. Laval working hard here. Good flat line defense by McMaster. Mm-hmm. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go, nowhere to pass. She got the ball back. Looking for an opening on that outside. I think that's La Flamme, you said, with the speed. Absolutely. Here's a big run by Pino Reed. Oh, and runs over a couple. And there's, they could be in here. There's La Flamme. No. Oh. Well, the referee's... Uh, penalty. Yeah, he's awarding a penalty. This is going to be another three points. I, Not releasing the tackler. We've seen that a lot today, Ed. The morning game trend in St. FX. I wondered if the call was going to be uh, playing the playing the person without the ball. Did you see that? I did see it, but he's indicated uh, that she didn't uh, release the tackler. Mm-hmm. He must give, that, uh, must give that ball carrier an opportunity to place the ball out. Well, this is exactly what Laval wanted. I'm sure this will be the last play of the half and a chance to go go up 9-0, go up by more than one try. That's exactly the point I was going to make, Ed, is now you're, you're, uh, you're two scores if you're going to level this game, at least. Converted try, you can, you can take the lead at 7-6, but at 9... You're going to need more than that. And, and uh, scoring points on Laval, as the Quebec Conference will tell you, uh, is difficult at best. This is Laval's third appearance at the CIS Championships. I don't think we've seen them th- since 2008, have we? That's right, 06, 08. So I'm sure they're pleased to be back. And they've been close every year since. It comes down to, seems to Concordia. Or Laval as one of the representatives from 
the RSEQ, the Quebec Conference. And there's another three as the referee blows the whistle for the half. So we'll take a little break here with the score 9 nothing Laval at halftime.
All right, we're back on the Streaming Sports Network. Ed Holton here with Sandy Kay, about to start the second half. McMaster kicking off to Laval. Laval enjoying a 9 nothing lead. Great first half, Sandy. Excellent play by both teams. Uh, excellent defense. Uh, aggressive, aggressive on both sides of the ball. Crowd responds to that big hit right off the opening kickoff. I don't think we've seen the best work from McMaster yet. I think... Uh, there's a nice high kick to the center. Scrum half, Kim Nye takes it into contact. Ball squirts out the back of the ruck. Here's Laval. That's number six, jean Lambert. Oh, touch flags up. I think that's a case of uh, the player thinking the white line was out of bounds. Yeah. Playing the yellows. Ball through the hands of Julie Morin. We've got a McMaster player down on the field. Gives you a better appreciation of the uh, size of these tight five forwards that stand in front of us up in the booth here, Sandy. Just impressive physical specimens, Ed. And not just their size, but their, their stamina, their ability to go... 80 minutes of rugby has hard the last five minutes if their coach needs it as the first five. Mac, nice line out there. And a quick ball out. Good run, Cindy Nellis. Nellis on the move. Looking for an offload. Lockhart puts it back. But Laval's well up. Nigh in trouble there. It's referee Martin Cormier. And Laval stolen this. Good help from fullback Claudian Renault. Here's a good run. Well tackled by Hannah Brathwaite. A flam there in support. They'll try the wide side here. A little close to being a high tackle. Bernier Spins it out again, and here's a break. It's number 12, Valier Villeneuve. Oh, and a oh. nice move, and she's going to score that. What a nice individual effort there. Looked like she was going to make that pass out to the left and, and dummied the runner, kept it herself. Nice cut to the right. Touches it down in between the posts, so this should be another seven. Turning point, you think, San, or is it still too early? There's still a lot of rugby to be played, but that's, uh, you know, McMaster from McMaster University. Uh, that's three scores. That's three scores now. You're right. It's not insurmountable by any means. McMaster's put up uh, put up some big numbers this year in the OUA. They're well capable. They just have to do a better job of, uh, of keeping hold of the ball. Well, you're right, Sandin. Max, 5-0 and regular season. They scored 232 points. Over 40 points a game. There's the convert to make the score 16 nothing. after just three minutes of the second half. Laval in the lead. 232 points for, for McMaster, only 54 against. And likewise, Laval, 279 and 29. McMaster looks just to get one score on the board. They don't need to win the game here in the next few minutes. Get down the field, tie together some phases of ball, and put up uh, put up some points. Well, we were talking at the half about that nice run down the sidelines. It could have easily been been five points and a missed penalty kick as well for three. Yeah, so they've they've created some good scoring opportunities. Let's see if they can uh, get it going here. Kick is 10 this time. Got a and then some. That was close to being forward. Nice support there. Laval forwards are there in numbers. Bernier spins it out, and here comes a kick in behind the Mac backs. Tricky bounce, but it's gone backwards. We've got a substitution on for McMaster University. Emily Ricketts uh, appears to be playing the outside center position. That's gone into touch. Braithwaite handled that that difficult kick very well. Kept the kept her body between the ball and the Laval back who was coming up in defense. 
but this one will be Laval's line out. So it looks like Sarah Berry out of the game for Mac. Long ball in the line out. The Liberty Martineau. The run. Oh, oh, that kind of that looked like a forward handoff yeah, to forward me. Forward handoff. But he's pointing towards Laval. Must not have seen it that way. Well, it's a penalty, that's why. Uh, offside against McMaster. Chance to shoot here? Oh, it's, Eddie, I was watching her warm up prior to the game, and, and she was, uh, this would be, I think, outside her comfort level. She was hitting comfortably from the 22 meter, the yellow line up there. This is a little bit too far, I think, for her. She's still worth a try, though. Yeah, it took a long time to signal. She is going to give it a go. It is from straight on. I was watching her kick from the sideline. Uh, 22 meter was difficult. This looks to be a, just over 30 meters. But you're right in the middle of the field. And sorry, the kicker again is? That's Claudiane Renault. Ed? Renault. This would be a big three points to give them 19. It's up. And a nice kick right through. So, six and a half minutes in. 19-0. Laval's building a bit of lead here, Sandy. And I think she may have heard me say that was outside her range. Yeah. She took that personally. Beautiful kick by Renault. Restart. Nice ball. It's the ground. Which you don't want to have happen. Mack up on defense. It's Trapathy on the stop. Bernier out. And that's Valier Villeneuve. Big high ball. Taken by Nye. Uh, knocked on by Cindy Nellis. Mm, tough luck. These are the little mistakes that just take the wind out of your sails. Put the ball back in Laval's hands. Again, you've got to applaud the effort of the McMaster Marauders looking for those quick little handoffs, but it just seems like so far the players haven't, uh, haven't been expecting those types of passes. Mm -hmm. It's been... Uh a pass or two away from turning into points. So remember, the scrum's outside the 22, so if uh, scrum half passes back behind, that she can't kick it straight into touch. So they will go for a run here, see how that works out. Looking good. Good ball, that's La Liberté Martineau. Oh, threw it a bit behind the winger. But a good recovery. Excellent tackling by McMaster. Val sets up a nice ruck. Stop by number four, Allison McFadden. We'll try the other way, back to the left. That's ball carrier Claudia Kedney Bolduc. Here comes a kick. That's this a, looks that's good. That's a great spot, one bounce. Laval manages to uh, maintain possession. Well rucked by Sarah Boudreau-Turpin. Anyone's ball here. Laval settles in on it. Penalty to McMaster. Hands in the ruck. I think Mac needs a little rest here while they while they find touch. That's a tough kick for Nellis from the middle of the field. And that's going to stay oh, in that's, bounds. That's a tricky one. That's a Laval bounce. And she's going to run it out. A little late on the pass, but it worked out okay. And a nice tackle there. All of a sudden, Mac's got Laval pinned in inside their 22. See if they can find touch here. Good kick, good clearance by Valier Villeneuve. So, same end result, though. The Mac will uh, will take the line out. 
And they're in the Laval end, uh, just approaching 25 minutes left to play in the second half. Here in the opening day of action from the CIS Women's Rugby Championships. Well nice jumped. Take. Nice offload to Cindy Nellis. Nice loop around there, Nellis. Good ball to Trapathy. Oh, and Trapathy breaks a couple tackles inside the 22 and still going. Mack arrives there in numbers. And the advantage He'll is there. Nice, back. nice to Natasha Turner. Five meters out now. Mack getting close. Laval well up in defense there on that one. Referee still playing the advantage. Penalty coming to Laval, and there it is. And did they take the easy three? Oh, I don't know. You're down by 16 if you take the three. Couple of players down. Whatever we guess, we seem to guess wrong anyway. Yeah, we haven't so. done very well. So what do you? What's your guess? Oh, that's a yellow card, Ed. Oh. I didn't see what happened there. That's Pino Reed. Some uh, extracurricular activity, maybe at the bottom of the pile. She doesn't look happy. Are they going to shoot, San? I think you take the three. Of there course, you go. and there Close she takes the, the run. Here we go, a little switch back. Don't lose it now. You don't want to come away empty-handed. you got to be perfect inside your 22. No, no mistakes. Some uncertainty there, but a pick and go. Good run by Tripathi. Tripathi within probably three meters of the try line. Spins it out. There's Natasha There's Turner. That. And Turner Try scored. Given. And the fans have traveled from Hamilton, Ontario. Are pleased about that one. Mac is on the board. It took a long time, Sandy. It did. That's a well well earned try. A gutsy play, not taking the easy three. But uh, some good three or four phases there of hard work. Well, they heard you say that uh, they were going to go for three, so they decided to run it. I'm just going to start guessing the opposite. <laughs> so that makes it 19-5. to 5. They could really use this convert. And like we said, it's kind of unusual. Cindy Nellis, the flanker, is their kicker. Russell Division, OUA Russell Division Rookie of the Year and a conference all-star. Her team really could use these two points. Oh, and it's off the pole. Off no the good. Post. So... Time a bit of a factor here. Twelve and a half minutes gone in the second half. Nineteen to five for Lavelle. I guess all we can see, San, is if Mac scores the next try, converts it, they're within a score. Two converted tries will will tie this. McMaster certainly has to build off uh, off that score, use that to gain some momentum. Lots of time still, though. 22 minutes. Mac just needs the next try without letting a Val Good having clean take by Nellis. even so much as a penalty kick. Nice run by Nellis. Ball, I think we may have had an offside there. Well, Laval looked like they were a little bit aggressive on that side of that rock. They like that switch back, eh, San? Oh, good run, Sarah Berry. Not releasing, though. Not releasing. Laval is so quick to the ball. As soon as you're tackled onto the onto the ground, there are uh, hands after the ball. Didn't Valier. gain much ground there, but be Laval's lineout. Right now it's about possession, and Laval has it. Here's where fitness becomes so important, Ed. What do teams have left for the last 20 minutes? And we talked earlier about the, the grueling schedule as well. I guess the advantage here is if you, uh, if you win this game, you don't have to play again until Saturday. Definitely an advantage for your rest. So it wasn't straight, but... Uh, they didn't match numbers, Ed. Oh, okay. Too many in the line-out. And here's a good 
run by La Liberty Martineau again. And swing it out the other way. Run back the other way, Valier Villeneuve. Does a good job of keeping her feet. Lots of help arrives. Laval setting up. Good ball out. La Liberté Martineau again. She's on an outstanding game today. Mm -hmm. And Mack is stolen. Good work. I think that's Van Beest on the bottom of that pile. Ball out by Nye. Laval is prepared in defense. And really zoning in on Natasha Turner. That's number 14, Hannah Braithwaite. A good breakthrough. Little kick ahead by Mack. I think all they've done, though, is give up possession here. Taken well by Karen Pican. Oh, perhaps a knock on in the pickup. And a little bit of a, a break for Mack. After two straight runs there by Liberté Martineau, she's uh, slow to get up and then back uh, seeking some medical attention now about midfield. Just holding her head may have been, uh, she may have taken a knock there on her way to the ground. Well, if you think about it, playing at this level and having to play three games in four days. That's asking a lot. As much a war as it is a championship. Who can stay healthy? Who can battle the conditions? Who can play your best rugby? Well, they're going to uh, going to play on here. 18 minutes to go. Laval with a comfortable lead, 19-5, but Mac looking for a try. Natasha Turner offloads. It's a great takeoff, that scrum. Ball out. That's Tripathi. I'd like to see her running forward rather than sideways. But Mac did a good job to get to her. Oh, and a good break here. Good run looking for help. That was defended well by Laval. That was Lindsay Turner with a great break, but knocked forward. Again, quick, quick look to her left. There was no support. Just turn it upfield and keep going as hard as you can and try to keep your feet until people arrive. I think perhaps she was pressing that pass a little bit too much. Looking for that quick score. Well, given that Laval's putting this ball in inside their own 22 their really only option here is to clear with a 14 point lead so well, it's a good tackling team though aren't they they sure are so oh mcmaster wins the penalty tasha turner takes the go. top that's oh. number one claire lockhart no oh, did you see that i missed that ed Ran in behind her player. A little obstruction there and penalty awarded to Laval. Uh, mistakes inside the 22. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but go straight, go straight. Well taken by number 14, Hannah Brathwaite. Brathwaite still going, still on her feet. Number two's got to release that ball. Yep. That's Anne Chabot Bergeron. Oh, there's a knock on by Mac. He'll play a bit of an advantage here. One bounce through and the legs of Oniente La Flamme. And no advantage coming. Sub coming in for Laval. Seems McMaster is her own worst enemy here. It's little mistakes. You certainly don't want to get uh, to this point in the game and say, you know, we've left 10 or 12 points on the field. We've seen what they can do when they uh, can possess the ball for multiple phases. Uh, they're, as, they're as lethal a team as we have here in this tournament. Lots of little mistakes there. 
So time winding down here. We've got uh, just over 15 minutes left. McMahon. 19 to 5 for Laval. Ball out. That's going to stay in bounds. Nice bounce out. So again, McMaster still with good field position here. Chance to coordinate another offensive attack. Lavelle not going to contest this line out. Rather defend the mall, which McMaster is so good at. And a good drive off the mall. Off the line out, I mean. And ball out. That's Kim Nye. Nye's caught. Ball squirts loose. Van Beest picks up. Oh, and I think Nye is uh, is hurt there. Cold muscles don't help on a day like this. She did a good job to uh, save that ball off mm -hmm. the uh, off the lineout. McMaster will keep the ball just outside the Laval 22. Less than 14 minutes left. Mac has to make something happen, Sandy. They need 14 points in 14 minutes. Now, which is certainly doable. Two converted tries. So really, they're not just looking to score, but looking to score rather close to the posts. Mm -hmm. Balls in and one. Turner out to Nye. Good take again by Lindsay Turner. And some space on the outside. Oh, couldn't get it out. It looked like there was an overlap out there. Sarah Berry took it in. Lindsay Turner slow to get up for McMaster. Ball back in the hands of Natasha Turner. Is that the flip back? Like to see a little forward play here. Let the backs get set up. You've got a couple little injuries. Good take by Cindy oh, Nellis. Nice she's got run. just the full back to beat. And she's in. Cindy Nellis with a score for McMaster. Wow. That was a beautiful run. Big long stride, eh? At five Fended off the tackler and took it in for five. At 5'11", she is a physical specimen. Like you said, those long legs, that long stride. So she's made the score 19 to 10. And a very important convert coming up. She's giving herself a pretty steep angle at this. Remember to those watching that you can move that ball out from the try line as far back as you want. She could take this kick from center if she wishes. On the same vertical line as where the try was scored. Here it goes. Oh. Off the post again. Off the post again. Talking about those little things that haunt you. They were hoping to pull within seven points, one converted try, but unfortunately, with the miss, they're down nine. 11, not, a, 11 not, and a half minutes to play. Sorry, Ed, you were going to say? Oh, lots of time still, though. Ball back not in McMaster's worry. hand. Van Beest goes up the right side. Uh, well stolen by Laval. Their hands are so quick. And a nice ball out. A hard time bringing down Oniente La Flamme. La Flamme, the speedy winger. Max got some hands on that. That's her opposite number, Hannah Brathwaite, going after the ball. Max just trying to hold this up. And they've done it. Scrum to McMaster. Might be seeing some tired tired bodies out there. It's getting a little bit easier to take ball from one another. Oh, they've mixed it up well. Like you said, it's uh, it really becomes a fitness thing now with ten and a half minutes left. Great second half of play by McMaster. Within nine points. What was our halftime score again? 
was uh, nine, nine zero. Nine zero. Nine at the half. At the half. That's right. Three uncon- uh, three uh, penalty kicks. Ten points for each team here in the second half. Natasha Turner breaks off another oh, fine nine. run. A little box kick there. Renault takes that cleanly though. That's thirteen. Karen Pecan. Pecan. Oh, and knocked on by Laval. That looked like it would have been five points had that she been able promising. to hang on to it. Excellent play. Like you were saying earlier, Ed, McMaster's first trip back to the CIS Championship since 1998. Full 14 years where they were finalists way back when. Yeah, I'm very impressed with McMaster and tip of the hat to Cam Mitchell for the, the job he's done in his first year there as coach. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, what a what a shoulda shouldas right now for Mac, but there's still time. Good drive by Laval in that scrum. Ball squirts out the back. Laval's right up there with a good drive. You can't give up any points. If you're McMaster, penalty. Laval's looking to go fast. Off they go. Let's see if they can put it over. Good Good hard run. Sign up for the next phase here. Going short side. McMaster well organized on defense. We're right near the try right line. Right at the here. line. Skip pass. Oh, good hands. That's She's rounding the corner. She's in. Pecan. I don't. Yes, he's awarded the try. Karen Pecan was an excellent uh, make something out of nothing type play. Ball bounced through her legs into the hands of Oniente La Flamme. Somehow she managed to get it back and score it in the corner. Isn't that the truth? Made something out of nothing on that one. And a try it is. Make the score 24-10 with less than eight minutes left. Very tough kick here coming up for the convert, but with a 14-point lead and time winding down, things are looking very good for Laval. If you're Renault right now, take the full minute. Let your team catch your breath. Get some water at half field. Uh, makes McMaster's job that much tougher here in these last seven minutes. But like we saw this morning in the Trent University game, they're not going to quit. They're not going to hang their heads. They're going to play hard for these last seven. Kick is up. A nice kick. About Just a short. short. McMaster to kick off. Oh, good attempt by Renault. And Max quick up to the line here. They don't want to waste any time. Off they go. Short kick off by Nellis. Well tackled by Allison McFadden. Laval going to look just to get field position. Oh, well taken. And And she's around the corner. She's heading to the center. Oh, should have popped it. McFadden was there in support. I don't know if she saw her. Lots of help from McMaster. Oh, that one's blocked. Blocked by Trapathi. This will be Laval line, but deep deep in Laval's end. Six minutes to go. 24 to 10 is the score in favor of Laval. Uh, that was uh, that was a nice brave play by Brathwaite getting into that high ball. Yeah, that was well taken. I was kind of worried when she took that arms out that she was going to knock that on, but she, she really went for a nice run. And not straight. And Chabot Bergeron. That'll be McMaster scrum. Yeah, here's the chance for McMaster now. Excellent opportunity. 
There's Natasha Turner talking with Nellis. Her flanker on the open side. So you're probably going to see a pickup here. Probably going to see a little something between these two women. McMaster's made good use of Turner off the back of that scrum. Oh, but the foul stolen it. And a kick downfield. Good chase taken again by Brathwaite. Not as cleanly. Oh. Referee Martin Cormier calls the knock-on. Too that's, bad. That's where those set pieces are so important. If you're a coach, you must win your own scrums. You must win your own lineouts. You had a chance to capitalize on a not straight from Laval off the lineout ball. And here they are, loss of uh, about 35 meters on that mistake. Yeah. Stephanie Cormier to put in for Laval. We're down to just over four minutes left. So Mac in big trouble here. Score 24 points to 10 in favor of Laval. Nice, nice ball. ball from Cormier. Nifty little play. That's a good looking play. A good tackle. Another skip ball. And into touch. Now Bernier spinning a nice ball. So that kick from Karen Paquin finds its way into touch. Three and a half minutes to play. McMaster's Marissa Ashley to put in. Same thing again, Sam. They're not testing that line out. Just playing defense. Max got to open this up. Good driving mall stolen again by Laval. She's out of bounds. That was Boy. quick. We've been seeing those quick Laval hands all day long. You've been mentioning that. That's just tenacious work by the Laval forwards. They're good at ripping the ball, stealing the ball, just taking advantage of uh, any ball that's exposed. Yeah, not tackling the player, but rather tackling the ball. Mm -hmm. And we'll try it again. Ball secured by Natasha Turner. That's a better maul. Well taken by number 13, Sarah Berry. Nellis with a run. Mack looking to make something happen here. We haven't seen McMaster really running a lot of pick and go off the back of the rucks that we saw St. Francis Xavier do it this morning with a high level of success. The ball's popped out. Oh, and a good take. One bounce. Laval there quickly. Here Referee comes a quick tap. Yeah, she's, she's, got got, get on the board. she's got numbers on her left. Good run by Cindy Nellis. Needs to get that offload, though. Mm. Laval is so quick at the ball. And once again, there's a nice run up the center. Like you said, those quick hands stealing the ball. And they'll kick it downfield. Valier, Villeneuve. A couple knock-ons there. Looks like Cormier's got advantage to McMaster. Only about a minute left here. Laval is... Uh, Heading to victory, which means a day off tomorrow and a game. Uh, Is the referee Cormier check his watch? For McMaster, it'll mean a uh, matchup, Sandy, with Guelph again. A replay of the OUA final tomorrow at 1.30. And Laval will get to go on to 1.30 on Saturday. Sure, McMaster, having seen uh, Guelph already this year, uh, isn't excited about that. Tackle. After a 50-something point loss to them just last week. 
McMaster with the ball in hand here. Lindsay Turner feeling the effects of that tackle. Uh, and ball squirts out again. Laval's got some numbers out here. If it can get out, there here it, it is. Comes. And one more. Oh, tough luck. One more pass would have done it. Laflam looked like she could have gone all the way. And now Laval's knocked it on. Some tired bodies out there. That was We're Chris- getting... Sorry, Ed, that was Christine Gord for Laval. Got hit just as she was about to make that tackle. And we're getting right near the end. And the referee blows it up to end the game. And the final score, Laval 24, McMaster 10. And a very spirited, tough, tough game. Well played by...